this week marks four years of me being in Dallas, and uh, it's been uh, quite a ride in those last four years. But I would say that really the most impactful has been the last 15 months of my time here. Uh, and, and prior to that, I really hit a, a low point um, right before that. Uh, I moved here from Orlando, and living in Orlando, I felt like I had everything I could want. I had a great church home, great community, uh, just a, a great mentor, and uh, I everything I, I desired, I felt like uh, was kind of provided to me. And I, I was known as the guy who connects everybody and always had an open door and always invited people in. And so uh, new people coming to town, they would be like, oh yeah, let me introduce you to Aaron and he'll get you connected. And I loved it. Um, that's what I love to do is just network and connect with people. And uh, I came out here to Dallas and I was like, okay, I got the secret sauce. I know what to do, how to do it. I did it, done it, and I'll do it again. And I got all the way out here and I tried to do it uh, exactly how I did it in Florida. And I left one thing out along the way and that was God. Um, I never really brought him along for the journey. And so as much as I tried to recreate what I had in Florida, uh, I kept running into doors and just frustration. And I felt like opportunities were not really opening up uh, the way I wanted them to. And so this led all the way up through uh, COVID in 2020. And COVID was a hard year for everybody. But as we went through COVID, I felt like I was getting lonelier and lonelier and churches started coming back uh, in person and I didn't go for a long time uh, and I started really missing community and so I was like oh, I'll, I'll invite a bunch of people over people I haven't seen in a while it'll be great it'll be a good time love hanging out with people and so I did that it came to the day of the get-together and I was getting ready and waiting for everyone to come over and not a single person showed up it wrecked my world. I never felt so lonely. I would spend many nights thereafter uh, on my couch just crying, not knowing who to go to, who I can talk to, or anything like that. And I kept praying to God, but it was all frustration. It was all, you know, you provide nothing for me and I came out here to Dallas for you. And, uh, but that was far from the truth. And so it took an act of me surrendering my life and letting go of what I wanted and allowing God to work in what he wanted. And so as I walked through that, I decided to join Watermark and I got involved with the porch. And I remember showing up the end of January in 2021 not knowing a single person and all I wanted to do was meet people and get to know them and foster friendships and just start getting connected with everyone and so that's what I did and I remember I met this guy who everybody knew and so I was like I'll attach myself to him kind of be at his hip and when people come and say hi he'll be like oh yeah here's Aaron and I'll get to know people that way and yeah and that worked it was great and so I kind of use that to foster <laughs> friendships and uh, continue to get to know more people that way. And I got more involved with just serving at the porch, the young adult ministry, and um, just continue to, to get connected. And all of these doors started opening up and all this community started flooding into my life. And I sat back and I realized everything that God had done. You know, I shared this um, because I'm really good at being happy and sharing all the happy things that uh, go on in my life. And I'm really terrible about showing and talking about the other side. I hit a very lonely spot in all this. And it wasn't until I surrendered everything and allowed God to take control before I started seeing what I needed, what God knew I needed, but I had to let him do it. You know, we 
and going into this Easter weekend and you know it's a great reminder just the sacrifice that God gave you know sacrificing his son for us so we can have a relationship with God but we've got to take advantage of that we've got to have the relationship with him and we've got to let him have control of our lives so he can work in our lives you know i share this uh out of encouragement uh, or i hope that it encourages somebody um uh, that as i walk through one of the the loneliest time of my life where i felt like i had nothing and i knew nobody when i showed up to the porch in january i didn't know a soul I knew nobody there and to see the doors that have opened and just the friendships that have been fostered and it is nothing of my own doing it is 100% god and all of that but i had to let control let go of control of what i wanted and I had to give it to him and let him take it and just lead me and guide me and I had to have a willingness to follow. So I hope this encourages somebody out there to just let go and allow God to come in and work in your life. It took a lot and many tears sitting on a couch praying in frustration and seeking something that I longed after and God was just waiting to give it to me but I had to let him allow God to work in your life invite him in surrender and just give it give it all to him he wants it